and welcome to my channel, Tara's Daily Tarot. Um, if you have not already subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Um, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button, um, share it with your community, anyone who you think might need a little bit of encouragement. Um, we're here to uh, raise the vibration of the planet. So um, the more people we reach, the more opportunities we have to um, enlighten. So uh, do that. Um, if you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, um, you can reach me over on my Facebook page. Um, if you have been sending me emails to Cherish Daily um, at Outlook.com, forgive me. I'm locked out of my email. Um, hopefully I can get it straightened out sometime this week. But um, if you have been sending me um, emails, I have not been getting them. Uh, just go over to my Facebook page for now, uh, Cherish Daily Tarot, and uh, send me a message there if you'd like to book a personal reading. Um, and if you if you sent an email um, and you wanted to get in on the Sagittarius promo, I'll honor that still. Um, so there's that. Uh, you can find me on all platforms. I'm on, um, as I said, Facebook, Cherish Daily Tarot. I'm on Instagram, uh, Cherish Daily Tarot, and Cherish Daily 1111. Uh, you can find me on TikTok and Twitter, Cherish Daily Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's see what our guides have for us uh, for this um, this final week in, in the month. See what kind of advice, um, perhaps, something to keep our minds uh, sharp and ready for the next phase. So let's go ahead and call it in. Angels of love and light. Spirit of the most high. Archangels. Our higher selves, our ancestors, our personal guardians. Uh, Metatron, Gabriel, Michael. <laughs> I hear, I hear different names in my head. Um, I choose the ones that I guess might resonate most most with um, with people. Eight of Swords on the bottom. Give us a clear message. Help us to see. Help me to see clearly. Help me to hear clearly a message for anyone who wants to come in uh, for this final week of December. It's a timeless message. Take what resonates for anyone in the collective. Star seeds, indigo children, crystalline soul family. It's on there again. Look at that. All right. Somebody might be a, um, sleeping on yourselves. Having some fears. Okay. These just kind of popped out. I want to put them back in, but I do want to, I want to take notice of them. These, these came out in the, um, weekend steamer. This is the wheel. Death and rebirth. The hangman, three major arcanas, and an ace of cups. So it looks like <clears throat> just starting out, this is um, a change of events. Something new, new love. Um, something that you're having to take a different perspective on. Something that might be challenging your, your conscious awareness. <laughs> All right, Seven of Swords. This is um, often the sneaky person, someone who is coming in to take what you have, someone that is, um, this came out in the steamer also. So it's either someone in your awareness that is a sneaky person or you're strategizing. And that's kind of the way that it, it looked in the weekend steamer. 
that you're starting something new, you're strategizing, you're trying to, um, you're holding things to yourself. You're not telling everyone what you have going on, what's on your mind. <clears throat> because you're, you don't want, you don't want to tell the wrong people what's going on. Queen of Swords, yeah. Being strong, making um, head over heart decisions. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is, this is like, this is more of advice as opposed to what's going on around you. I see it now. This is um, what our guides are saying. We need to be in this mode. It's kind of like go time. Yeah, see, there's more air energy here. There's a lot of air energy here. And air is about communication. It's about thoughts. It's about, you know, like putting, putting your, <clears throat> putting your thinking cap on because it's time to start something, something new, studying. Um, this can actually be, you know, someone who is, this is a young person. This is the page of swords uh, or a messenger could even indicate I'm going to go ahead and say it because it's it's here. Um, it could indicate a spy, somebody that's uh, spying on you, that's kind of like even gossiping about you. And um, the Two of Swords. Two of Swords, this is indecision. You have to make a choice about something. Um, but the good thing is you have choices. You do have choices, and those choices are... Um, I don't know. They're vexing you for some reason. There's a lot of air energy here. So you're um, really in your head. <laughs> and um, at the same, at the same time, you need to be, you're, um, you're being called to be this queen of swords, someone who makes um, logical decisions. And yeah, you're, you're studying the energy. You're trying to figure out what you need to do. That's this page of swords so that you can make a good decision. Okay. I can dig it. Slide it over a little bit. Okay. Okay. So let's see what else comes out. I'm not going to do the Celtic cross. Okay. Knight of Cups. This is a romantic person. Somebody who is um, bringing an offer, an offer of love. Um, it's an offer. You know, it's it's an offer. It's not, you know, it's... This is the romantic. This is somebody that, you know, may do some real nice, sweet things for you. But it's just a night. It's an offer, right? You also have another night, Knight of Swords, more air energy. Uh, this is uh, that logic uh, over, <laughs> over heart. So this is kind of misplaced, out of place. But this Knight of Swords, this is, it's hard energy. All of this is hard energy. And what, that's a relative term, right? Um, I say hard energy because you're in your head. But, you know, if you're an air sign, this is home to you. You're, um, I won't say that it's easy, but it, it is what's natural to you. Um, I'm a fire sign and, you know, <laughs> action oriented, drive, all of that. That's home to me. Um, but it's not easy. You know, some things, some people can make things look like it's easy, but it's not always easy. So making decisions that are, you know, logical or thought through rather than felt through is at home with a, with an air sign, if that makes sense. But it might not be the easiest thing to make the decision to do a thing because you have choices that might, you know, be equally, uh, that could be equally um, valid, important, you know, but there's justice coming in, justice, putting things into balance, making things right and having um, a victory in it. 
So, uh, wonder, is, there's something going on here. There's something going on here. Something that has to do with love. Eh. <laughs> Let me see. Sneaky person. Can't get by you. Might be a little bit of gossip. You got to make some decisions about it. Somebody that's offering you love. You're not going to go for it because it's you got to put things in the balance. Yeah, and you want to be stable. This is the four of wands. Happy family. Uh, well, it's, it's balance in a family. You know, like harmony. Uh, twin flame stuff. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> The lovers. This is actually the Gemini card. Gemini, that's uh, air energy. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. This is also air. This is um, justice. The justice card, that's Libra. Um, that has to do with family too. You know, like partnership. And here's the lovers. <laughs> Twin flame um, energy. So... I'm seeing that this is going to be something that you're carrying over into the new year. Something that you're not 100%. Uh, well, I'll, I want to say not 100% sure about, but it's not that you're not sure. It's just that you're in your head about it and you have to make some choices. What those choices are, I don't know. I'm not really 100. Oh, okay. It's a new beginning. It's a new spark. Um, the Ace of Wands, this is a new passion. So with the with the lovers here, sparking something new, going into um, the new year with a new flame, new passion, or the flame rekindling in a way. Okay. This, this Knight of Cups is giving me those vibes that there's some kind of an offer. Some kind of an offer, want, wanting to make sure that it's, you know, a good route and you're not trying to put too much heart into it, but you want to be stable. You want to have um, stability with this four of wands between the lovers here, so off camera, the lovers. Um, okay, new, new something. All right, let's get one more, one more card. I'm gonna clarify some of this stuff. I'm going ooh, okay, always doing that, all right. I'll look at what's on the bottom, the Hierophant. All right, I'm gonna go through these fast. Temperance, stay in balance. This is the, um, this, this is, this makes sense, okay, get out of your head. You're too much into your head about all of this because you have your guides telling you to back off a little bit on this over here and bring some of the warmth in. Yeah. Okay, okay. So stack. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 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 So you got the wish card, nine of cups, make a wish. So whatever your would whatever your wishes are, <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Do your thing. Okay. Um you have had um a lot of burdens. Um, and you've, you've come to the end of that. That's why you have this, this new beginning, Ace of Wands. So in the new year, you're starting fresh. This is like a wind of change blowing in for you and all the, 
um, hardships, the burdens of the past, lay them down, right? Lay them down. Huh. This came out in the weekend steamer too. Eight of Wands, a lot of fast moving communication. A lot of these things, these endeavors that you've had in the past, um, you're, you're, I guess you're, you know, everything is kind of like winding down. You're making um, some, let's just call it communication. A lot of uh, choices, decisions that have to do with laying some of these burdens down. And the nine of pentacles. I love the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups together because it indicates that you are happy, healthy, and you're doing good in life. Your business is thriving. You're having, um, you know, and you did it on your own. You, you're good, right? You're, this is that happy single card. Um, the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. You've reached a place within yourself where you are self-sufficient. That um, nine of pentacles is that self-sufficiency. And that nine of cups is that emotional fulfillment. You know, you can be alone in a room and not be bored. <laughs> so you also have competition. This is the five of wands. Um, you know, something, some kind of challenges. Um, but you also have another major arcana. This is the magician card manifesting, um, manifesting things from, from the resources that you've, The magician is a manipulator of resources, of energy, and um, this this is one of those um, cards. Well, this is how do I want to say it? The magician, the magician is that person that is like a unicorn. <laughs> you. It's a myth, right? This person is a myth. No one believes that this person is real, but they are. And there's many of us here and you are one of them. You're a person who knows how to bring things into the 3D that were not there before, right? By um, manipulating the elements and, um, you know, it's it's... It's like these people are, are myths or demonized because um, it's an un, it's a misunderstanding of the way things really are, right? We're all magicians. We all bring about things. When we speak, the words that we speak, we're speaking spells. You know, we are saying things that... Um, that manifest you know, things in our reality. So you have to be really careful about what you say, what you think, because your thoughts, your words become your reality. Now, speaking of your words being your reality, your thoughts being your reality, you have the seven of cups. So there's a little bit of confusion. You might have a lot of choices in love. You might have um, just a lot of options, a lot of things that you are really, really passionate about that you want to um, explore and you just don't know what to explore. That's why you have this two of swords. You're a little bit indecisive, but you have to come to a place where you let things go that, um, that have no value for you anymore. You know, like these 10, 10 wands that you've been carrying, they could be, you know, things that have long since, um, lost their usefulness in your life, but you're still hanging on to them just because of, you know, distant memories, um, whatever, you know, things, the things that we do. The strength card, this is another major arcana. This is um, having inner strength, strength of will, strength of uh, mental strength, spiritual strength, having the, the, um, confidence in yourself to become the the lion and the lamb you know you are the you are the person who is in control of your fate because you have you know where to go to the source to bring about the things that you need in your life 
and you have the energy to do so. This is the King of Wands. You kind of go hand in hand, right? Um, and it is, this is actually the Leo card, Leo. Um, and this is the Leo card as well, the King of Wands. So being really strong, there's a lot of strength here. And again, I'll show you the Hierophants at the bottom. And under that is the Three of Cups, a celebration. So I'm looking at this week going into the new year as being very, very, very interesting. Um, I want to clarify. I want to know what... I want to know what this two of two of swords is about. What what the indecision is? Maybe this um, seven of swords too, because there's obviously something here. What is the two of swords? Uh, let's see what the seven of swords is first. What is the seven of swords? Why is the seven of swords here? How was Christmas for y'all? How was the holiday? Did y'all have fun? Did you eat a lot? Spend too much money? <laughs> Tell me about some uncomfortable situations with family that you may have had. Okay, Ace of Swords. Um, okay, so the Seven of Swords the divine has given you some truth in this okay so some truth being revealed about this the seven of swords the truth being revealed hmm. so the truth being the truth was revealed okay three of wands Okay, so for this Two of Swords, the Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to come in. So that's why you're, okay, so you're you're kind of like in limbo. Because you're, you have started something, you did start something already. And you're just waiting for your ships to come in and you're, you're waiting, you're just waiting. What is the justice about? Why is justice here? <laughs> you got another ace. Ace of Cups. A new love. Healing love. Some, a gift from the divine. So this justice is um, things being made right. Things being put into balance. Okay. Okay, I got it. I like that. I like it because you have three aces here. So it's a symbol symbolizing a new change for you um, in just about every way. I don't see the ace of pentacles yet, but look on the bottom, there's the two of swords. Let's get an oracle card. Let's get some more. Um, this is the psychic uh, psychic oracle. <sighs> Maybe I should see what this this knight. Yeah, let's see what the knight is. I want to see what this knight of uh, cups is before I move on. Let's see what this offer might be. Knight of cups, an offer of love. Oh, <laughs> well, asking you shall receive, right? King of Swords. Okay, all right, so this is a real serious offer. This is a serious offer um, because you got the, the King of Swords. Now there's a match, the Queen of Swords here. So two logical people, two very intelligent people um, coming together, but this Knight of Swords, it's like the Knight of Swords is bringing you the the offer of this this knight of swords i mean this king of swords okay wow and then you have a king of cups 
this is serious business. This is like a really, 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 really big change coming because who you thought you were dealing with is not who you, who he, who he or she is. They are more than how they have presented themselves. So they've presented themselves in this way of um, just a, a somebody that's maybe here today and gone tomorrow, but they are more than that. They're very logical in the way that they think. Um, they are um, going to do things by the book but they also have an emotional availability beyond this um, night of cups ability, okay? So it's like the king that dressed in plain clothes to go to the market, you know, to be among the common people. <laughs> That's who you're dealing with. And yeah, they're, they're in contemplation as well. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all are reflecting one another. So the two of the two of swords. So they're indecided, indecisive as well, undecided about something. Um, because they've had um emotional unrest. You know, not being fulfilled in their emotions and their relationships before as well. So, you know, they don't want to. It's an eight of cups. They don't want to go out there and, you know, put their, all their emotional ducks in a row, you know, all in eggs in one basket. So that's why they are contemplating there and they're, you know, in the same, in the same way that you're looking for your ships to come in. This person is looking to, um, you know, strategize and put things together because the world is theirs. They know their value and they know their worth. This is the two of wands. And they're looking out for their own best interest. Um, five of swords. This is um, this can indicate like manipulation, but it can also be that healthy selfishness. I want my life to be good. I don't want to have to fight here and there. You know, I'll fight for a minute, but um, I'm going to win. I'm going to win this battle. I'm going to win the battle of my life. Um, and so this seven of swords came out for them too. this, um, you know, strategizing or taking thing, taking, um, taking their own being, doing things that's best for them, say it like that. And then they have the justice, uh, not justice, judgment card, but justice is over here on the bottom, the judgment call. Um, the judgment card. This is the divine um, sending the archangel uh, Gabriel to call in this uh, into this new new reality, right? Bring this person into this newness. Yeah, and look, the Knight of Swords. I mean, Knight of Cups again. This. This little story right here is so telling. It is. It, it sums up a whole lot. And then there's on the bottom the justice card, like I said. So whoever this is that, that you're with, they're mirroring you. So it looks like a twin flame situation where y'all are um, going at it together. So if you if you are in a twin flame uh, relationship, twin flame connection, it's a very, very important relationship. And um, my best advice is to get on the same page immediately. <laughs> <clears throat> um, don't play around because the longer you play around with with uh with your life with your connection the harder the situation will be for you and um the connection is meant to make you elevate to go to the next level the both of you that's why you're basically mirroring one another um in your thoughts in your um heart 
in the way in which you're living your life, it's very, very similar. You have a, a special connection. And that twin flame connection, is, it's a power couple situation, but it's not meant just for you. You're here to, you know, raise the vibration of the planet. Choose wisely. Wow. This is the first time this card has come out in the weekend steamer or the weekly. This is actually the first time I've pulled this card ever. Choose wisely. That's going back to this two of swords. Make sure that the choices that you're making are the, um, are the ones that will sit well with your soul because you're being called, the both of you, you and your person are being called to a higher standard, something, something um, greater than yourselves. And you got the solitude card. So take some time to connect with your guides on your own, connect with your person and um, strategize, come up with a plan together that will um, put you in it at an advantage. Yeah, take time alone, away from the world, um, and connect so that you become aware. The This awareness, this is interesting um, because this is kind of like this magician energy that came out over here for you. Uh, connect with your guides, connect with your higher self, connect with your purpose. And lastly, write it down. Put your thoughts on paper. Um, get yourself a plan. You know, it's, I know it's not always the easiest thing to do, but you have to, if you're gonna walk into the next year, the next decade prepared, you know? So I think I'm gonna leave it there. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week. I'll see you on Friday, um, or you'll see me on Friday with the weekend steamer. Um, if you if you would like to uh, reach out for a personal reading, you can catch me on um, Facebook, Cherish Daily Tarot. And um, yeah, if you've been sending me emails, uh, just come on over there. I'll be happy to um, honor any of the promo codes or honor the, pro the Sagittarius promo code. Okay, y'all be good. Namaste. Peace.